Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today I'm going to be playing some more Dragon Blades. As you can see, Teal is finally plus seven. You know, we've been working on her a little bit. I haven't really been farming any like gears at the moment because I've just been trying to stack up the tickets so I can do another um, Ragnarok stream soon. And the plans of doing the Ragnarok stream this week kind of went out the window just because Thanksgiving and everything had to spend time with the family and everything there. So, so yeah, it was pretty much family first at that point. He's still plus six. Rip. All right, so apparently we got a part two into the chapter five preview. Let's go ahead and go in there. Pretty sure it's this, right? Yep. So, daily dungeons added. There was a daily dungeon like way back when the game has started where you would have to go through like different stages and earn rewards from there. But that that didn't really work out with others and it was way easier to do it this way now and then. But looks like we got Monday is ally dungeon. Jewel dungeon is Tuesday, Wednesday is request dungeon. Essence Dungeon is Thursday and Friday Dungeon. Okay, I've already noticed a few things that are wrong here. <laughs> uh, and that's the icons. Um, the icons are mishmax. <laughs> Who was in charge of this? The only thing they got right was the Request Dungeon. <laughs> This should be on Tuesday. This should be on Friday, and Friday should be on Monday. Okay. Just to clear that up for you guys. Somebody was a little bit confused doing that. It's all good. I'm pretty sure we all understand what days they're on. Alright, Rune Enhance. Create stronger parties with classrooms. So it seems like you pretty much level up the like rune that whichever classes you're going for if you're going on for like a full warrior team then you would enhance the warrior class um runes so yeah pretty much where that's going character enhancement through requests complete requests to enhance your character when you complete requests your character xp increases requests can be acquired through daily dungeons so pretty much the requests are to make your characters way more powerful. So that's definitely recommended to do at least every day. At least if you have the rupees for it. All right, next. Transcended ally effects. So this is pretty much like party effects. As long as you acquire these guys and get them to like a certain point, you get these like party increases. But I'm pretty sure you don't have to have them inside of your party. Owning transcended allies will yield various rewards even if your transcended ally doesn't participate in the battle, they will still aid in combat. So collecting all the trans is probably a must. It's definitely a must and getting them to ultimate gives like way more like stuff, which really does help out, makes your team like way stronger. So if you guys are looking for a goal to go after, that's definitely one to do. Alright, so that's pretty much it for part two. Is there anything else? Part three? Oh, well, yeah, there is a part three, but it is in something that I cannot read. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. I wonder if I can get it from just the gist of it. Alright, they're just basically saying that everything's going to look different when you start the game. Your character's going to be in, in, like, a different standing than the original where you had to select them from, like, uh, pretty much a row. They're just going to be displayed instead. So, I'm pretty sure this is just interface uh, modifications. And I don't really think I know what this is. It has something to do with Gears. think transform is in there <laughs> system transformed equipment that, that's all I know <laughs> so I guessing it transforms from this to this interesting but it costs rubies as well so that's quite something 
Oh, I don't think I want to do that. I'm going to avoid that as much as possible. And this says something I don't know. <laughs> maybe somebody in chat will start debugging everything and put it in chat. Or maybe I'll find it somewhere else. All right, let's go back to the main menu and get started on our dailies. All right, what's up inside of the dailies today? So we have tag matches and world boss. All right, let's do the world boss first. There's, real, there's no real reason for me to bring Till into this party, especially since the family isn't like magic based. So it's probably useless to just bring them in. So we're going to go with this team that we had from last week and just see if we can have better luck in RNG. Yep, just the same team we surpassed last time. Hmm. Do I have anything different in this party? I guess no. I guess not. I think it was just better RNG at the time. All right. Let's see if we can surpass it this time. So I did make a Thanksgiving video like yesterday, as this video goes up. Um, was asking if you guys in rather have like a Discord or a Twitch. I uh, still got no answers on that, so I guess nobody really cares, so I guess we'll just stay on Twitch. Um, the second thing I had asked is what did you guys want to be called, my subs and everything. Because most YouTubers call their whole like YouTube family something, but I, I don't know what I should call you guys, if anything, or if you guys even want to be called something. I guess I could just keep doing that normal hey guys intro. I don't think I'm ever going to change that intro. At least until I find something at least more interesting. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty much the two things I asked during the um, video. So two of them that were suggested was uh, Wolflodites, which is kind of weird for me to say. I don't, I don't know if I feel comfortable with that one. And the other one was Wolfpack. I mean, wolf in German is wolf, but I'm pretty sure there are a few people using that right now. Because I've been to other wolf YouTube channels now and then. I would just see what like competition I would have in the name. <laughs> I got some major competition, sadly. Oh. We somehow boosted all the way up. Alright, RNG. Keep going. But if you guys have any more names you want to suggest or did not watch the video at all, I mean, it's it's alright. I honestly don't care. <laughs> but, yeah, if you guys have any names, just let me know. Just post it down in the comments if you guys come up with anything. It could be multiple names, at least something. At least you guys are, like, tributing. And before I started recording, me and Alice had, like, a really interesting conversation. Alice kind of reminded me about, like, the whole true key user thing. It's been so long since I've played the beginning of the game, so yeah, a little thing escaped my mind. But it still doesn't explain how the rest of them, like Death Crown, yeah, he became a true key owner. But how did the rest know how to become a true key owner at the exact same time that he became one? Or was that also in the story? God, it's been so long. Should I go back and play through the story? Man, that's that's like pretty deep in the chapters. I, I think I'm good. I gotta go through freaking... What was it? Chapter 4 again? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> but Alice also said that they're gonna be taking out the whole Awaken quest. So that does make sense. There is no need for it anymore. So, yeah. So the thing is, I'm I was looking pretty far into the like uh, like story and everything everybody's gonna have to go through, especially like the newcomers. I think far into a lot of things, so I apologize if that triggers you guys or something. But I don't know why you guys would be triggered over people, somebody talking about story, but hey, it's, people are just weird. So here's the thing. You're already transcended when you start. 
going through the story, and when keys are introduced, couldn't you just tell everyone or teach them how to um, transcend early instead of waiting for chapter 4? They would be ready for the titans and everything. I mean, you're already starting out transcended, so... I'm trying to piece together how the story is going to go. I might just play through it again on a different character just to see if anything changes, if they take out anything, you know. But that'll be on my own free time. Oh, jeez, we definitely passed that score. Hey, that's what's up. But yeah, I, I am really curious at how the story is going to change since, you know, we're going to turn transcended. And hopefully they do explain a lot in Chapter 5. And geez, we... Alright, we made it to 8 minutes. That's a new record. I don't think we've made it this far. If we can live into 10 minutes, then we definitely created some real good survivability here. But, um, Landy's down, so I doubt it. Falcon's down. Next are these two. Come on, Margaret. Keep summoning something good. Oh, no. Who are you going to summon? Oh, you didn't summon Landy. Rip RNG. Alright, these guys can survive the last minute. I'll be happy. She should be able to. Rip, you're going to be sitting there without the blue bodyguard, so you're dead. So I think we're just going to make it barely. God, he really wants to kill her. Ah, <laughs> oh, darn. She had to place her skills. So she died like eight seconds too early. Rip. That's my win loop for you. She's a true champion to the end. All right. So what else? All right, let's go do some tag. I haven't really done Arena since um, Tuesday. I'm going to tonight. All right, here we go. Oh my, it's King Graham with his grumpy face. To be honest, I love King Graham's design. Like he, he looks like a total badass. Unfortunately, it's just that he just gets nerfed and he's no longer like viable. All right, Ragnarok, I'm gonna need you to die, please. Oh, gee. The man grams himself. You're OP now, but just wait. I'm gonna just be a douche. Summon him. I dare you. I told you I dare you. Now you're gonna have to dispel your own summon. And now that you got that buff, I'm afraid, so... Yeah, let's kill you before anything else happens. Alright, there we go. You know, that, that one worked out. Even though King Graham kind of shredded freaking, um, Gale. Oh, no. Uh, how could this matchup go? Not really having the fullest of confidence there. Yep. 
Kinda saw that one coming. You know what, to save our ally, that probably should switch out. Okay. Yeah, let's take off the suffering just a little bit more. Get out of here. Next. There we go. Now that we had Camille out of the way, we don't have to really worry about it all that much. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Alright, next round. Uh... This guy should be a challenge. You and your invisibility. Can you can you not? Done. That sun is so beautiful, especially when the invisibility comes in. our next opponent I'm just like really absorbed into it I apologize I went quiet and just stopped talking been like really concentrated oh now this is a challenge uh oh Do you not yeah I'm worried about the Margaret. Because she has the puppet take over. Alright, there we go. Let it drag on a little bit so we can now get rid of him. Hey, buddy, sorry. There's nobody you can take over here, so you're going to have to stop what you're doing. You can stop punching me. That's what you can do. Yeah, you can do that in a 1v1 situation, but what about now? Yeah, not not so good now, are you? Oh dear God, um, that is an issue. Well, only two issues, from what I can see. Lucy doesn't count. All right, so he doesn't have any puppets. Oh, I hate you, Stormbear. Please just die. That part is he's going to get all his HP back anyway, so... Yeah.
Hey, get out of here. Crap. Like, I want to let a drag on, but if she kills, that's going to be an issue. So let's stun. Oh, that's a perfect summon. Thank you. RNG. Oh, Lucy actually did some damage. And how about you don't? Wait, what? I was about to say, she just ate through my shield. But thank God for that life still. That life still passive is retarded on Windu. Makes no sense at all, but you know, it's welcome to random characters that just were born to make no sense. Oh dear God. Uh, so I can gladly say this is going to be an issue. But that's just a GG. I don't know what else to say to that. No point in fighting back. But they could deal with themselves. Let's see. And now that she summons, they're gonna switch out to Lucy. Just look at that attack speed. Oh my god, it's so amazing. And dead. Yep. Not a matchup I can actually go up against. Especially during that like combination. There is no winning that. <laughs> At least with my team right now. If everything was ultimate, I would probably have more confidence in that battle, but nah, nah, I'm good. I, I know my whole, you know, limits. <laughs> Sometimes my allies prove me wrong in those situations. Oh god, it's you. Why does everyone have you? For what reason do you exist? Yeah, let's not have that. I'm gonna need you to stop. And hold this L. How can you even hit me? I'm I'm invisible. Darn it. Stop hitting me, I'm invisible. <laughs> Every rogue in the world can see other rogues. Well, maybe because they trained in concealing. But Mika never can go invisible. What What the hell, man? She, she can see invisible people? Alright, this is going to be the last one. I think I've kind of overdid it a little bit. I was not paying attention to my uh, time I had. <laughs> It's been so long since I've seen Sasha. I'm gonna miss her. Sasha was definitely one of my favorite keys. Especially with how much damage she did before the trans. She could do some serious damage. Too bad she's outclassed now. Landy, why are you even here? Why? I have a feeling this dude just put the shield on her just to annoy me. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next video. Remember, my Dragon Blaze videos are Tuesdays and Fridays. Till then, peace out.